Watch the pepperoni pizza will magically change into cheese. You just magically pull the food out of the menu. Whoa, that is so cool. Watch, we can actually take it and just heal it. Just take the scarf and wave it over my hand like this. A banana. Create a sparkling goblet of fire. It will just magically grow. Watch how the yellow sucker, if I just wave, it magically changes into red. Maybe we didn't cook the popcorn all the way. There's a ear of corn in it. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I'm your host, Evan Era. Today, I'm showing you 10 magic food tricks that you can do at home. Food. Yes, real food. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for us and let's go. So we've got a piece of pepperoni pizza here, but let's say your friend changes their mind and they want a piece of cheese pizza instead of pepperoni at the last minute. Well, that's no problem. We'll just use a little magic. If you just wave over the pizza, it will magically change into cheese. All you need to pull off this trick, this is an Evan Era original here, you need a magnet ring. You're gonna wear this on your hand just like this. You're also going to need some pepperonis and a piece of cheese pizza. You'll also need some magnets to stick to the ring. Your next step is to take your glue gun and you're gonna put just a little dab of glue in the middle of your pepperonis and stick one of your magnets in place just like that. So you're gonna do this on three or four of the pepperonis, putting a magnet on the back of each. Now you're going to take your piece of cheese pizza, you're gonna make sure you blot all the grease off the pizza and then you're going to take your little prepared pepperonis here and you're gonna set them up on the pizza just like this with the magnets facing down just like that. Now all you have to do to magically change your pizza from pepperoni into cheese is let your magnet ring collect the pepperonis just like that. So as you wave your hand across the pizza the magnets gather the pepperonis to the ring just like that and you want to conceal those underneath your hand as you drop it to your side and ditch these pepperonis into your pocket. Okay check this out I have a candy bar here I have a really cool Cool trick to show you, so we're just gonna unwrap the candy bar. So we've got the Kit Kat unwrapped, and we're actually going to break off one of the bars. We're gonna break off this end bar right here. You can even have the spectator do this. So they're just gonna break off this bar of the Kit Kat right here. We're gonna break you off a piece of the Kit Kat just like that, okay? So we've got the broken piece of the Kit Kat just like this. Watch, we can actually take it and just Heal it back onto the bar just like that. Look. This is actually one that we invented for this video, so it's super easy to set up at home. All you need are two Kit Kat bars, and you're going to need to cut one of the bars off of the Kit Kat. And now we're going to take it and attach it to the other Kit Kat bar right on the bottom. And we're gonna join those two pieces together by harvesting a little bit of the chocolate from the other Kit Kat bar. Now we're gonna take these chocolate chunks and use them to melt the two pieces of Kit Kat bars together. So we're just gonna line them up right on the gap where the two come together, and then we're gonna use the blade of the exacto knife to melt these in place. Just gonna heat up the blade of the knife. Just gonna glue the extra Kit Kat bar on using our kind of chocolate glue here. Once you have it all melted down and the Kit Kats joined together, you can put this in the refrigerator to firm up. Once the chocolate is hardened and set up in the freezer, you're ready to go for the illusion. So this is what we want. We want a Kit Kat with five bars instead of four so that we can hide these with the wrapper. So it's gonna have the wrapper wrapped around it like this. Tell someone to break off the Kit Kat on the end. And the great part about this is they can actually snap it off, they feel the chocolate break, they hear it break, because it really is attached. This works best seated at a dinner table. You wanna be seated facing your audience, so that when you do the magical restoration, all you're doing is pitching this bar back into your lap. As you shift these up a bit, and act like you're restoring this bar onto the Kit Kats, just like that, and you're left with your original four bars that you can hand out for examination. Here's a little trick for when the fast food's not fast enough. So we just open up our menu here. Let's uh, pick something from the menu, maybe the burger and fries. Check this out, all I have to do is hold up the menu like this and reach inside. The secret to this one is all found in this menu. So it's actually got a secret flap right here. So that we can take an order of french fries and then you're going to load your burger right on top of the fries. Now that you've got your burger and fries loaded into the pouch, this whole setup is gonna be hidden inside the menu just like this. So you wanna present it to your audience from the front. You can open it up, show the items inside. You got a chicken wrap, burger and fries, salad over here. Say so let's choose the burger and fries. Our burger and fries are still hidden in the pouch right here. Then all you have to do is reach 
down inside and pull the burger out, and then pull the fries right out of the pouch as well. The menu actually has a second secret flap that allows you to make it look like the items have disappeared off of the menu. Hidden on the back here behind the salad flap is an identical page of the menu that looks like the burger and fries, only the burger and fries are completely missing and blank on the menu page. So once you've magically removed the burger and fries from the menu, you just fold this flap around and the magnets will magically hold it in place and it looks like they've just vanished from the menu. All right, so we've dimmed the lights in the room for this one. I have a really cool trick to show you with this bottle of water. I also have a flask right here. Watch if I just dump water into the flask to see it starts to magically glow. So beautiful, isn't that cool? It's like glowing glacier water. Oh, look at the bottom of it. It's so beautiful. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. This one's part science and part magic. This is called instant light powder. All you have to do is add this mixture to distilled water and it will glow a brilliant bright blue color. This is called chemiluminescence. This powder contains the chemical luminol, which when the molecules of luminol get excited, they emit blue light. You want to make sure you get distilled water for the experiment. The light powder also contains a sodium mixture that when added to the distilled water creates hydrogen peroxide. And the hydrogen peroxide is what excites the molecule of the luminol and makes it glow. Stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm giving away the instant light powder to one lucky comment. Okay, check it out. Cool trick to show you with my little yellow scarf here. So check it out. If we just take the scarf and I wave it over my hand like this, a banana just magically appears. The explanation to this one is extremely simple and it's so easy to do. All you need is one of these fake rubber bananas and I'm actually giving this one away to one lucky comment on the video. So all you have to do to be eligible to win the magic banana is leave a comment in the comment section below and stay tuned for the end of the video. So this is really simple. The banana is made of rubber and you can just roll it up just like this and conceal it in your hand like this. Then you can just take the little silk scarf and make a banana magically appear in your hands. Super fun and easy food trick that you can pull off at home. Stay tuned for the end of the video and win the magic banana. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you with this Oreo cookie. So check it out. We're going to open up the cookie. Just eat the cream filling right out of it, just like that. Check this out. The cream filling magically restores. It's over stuff. Hey, but you want some popcorn? Yes. Help yourself. Oh wait, I think there might be something in there. It looks like it's not cooked all the way, maybe. Look. What? <laughs> so, it's an ear of corn. I think we didn't cook the popcorn all the way. Do you want it? You can have some popcorn. How's it taste? It tastes pretty buttery. It shouldn't taste buttery. Yeah, because it's a corny joke. <laughs> All you're gonna need to pull this trick off at home is some popcorn and a sponge corn. Stay tuned for the end of the video. We're giving away this sponge corn on the cob to one lucky comment. So there's nothing tricky with the popcorn whatsoever. The secret is all found in the magic sponge corn. It's completely made from sponge, just like a sponge ball, and it's cut into the fun shape of an ear of corn. So you've got the green foam right here to act as the corn's husk, and then the yellow obviously looks like the corn part. You can compress this down just like this, conceal it in your palm, and to your audience, it looks like your hand is completely empty. You can then reach down in the popcorn, produce the ear of corn, and it looks like it's just magically appeared from the popcorn. So watch, we just take a match, light it up just like this. If we take our little shaker, we can magically create starts. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to pull this one off. You're gonna need two glasses. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol. You're going to need some finely ground cinnamon, and you're going to need some matches. Our first step here is to fill one of the glasses with a bunch of the alcohol. Once you have the cup full of alcohol, you're going to strike a match and light it up. And just like that, the alcohol will begin to burn inside the glass. Now, once it's flaming up, we can take our little shaker and magically create some cool sparkles, just like that. So beautiful. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you with this paper bag. In this paper bag, I have four different suckers. I have a red sucker, also have a yellow sucker, a purple, and a green. 
So I'm going to take the green sucker and put it in my pocket. Keep that for myself. Which leaves how many suckers in this bag? If we take one away, and there was four initially, how many is left? Three? Correct. Except for, they're all gone. I'll teach you the secret of performing this at home right now. Okay, here's the secret to the magic lollipop trick. That's part of the secret, and then that's part of the secret as well. So the four different suckers that you saw me pull out of the bag are actually this one piece right here. So when you pull it out the first time, you show one color, pull it out the second time, show the other color, and you're just gonna conceal this part in your hand. And then for the third one, you're just gonna flip it around and show that color. And then once you reach back down inside the bag, you're gonna flip it around once more and show the last color. You can say, I'm gonna take this one for me, put it in my pocket. And then when you hand the bag out to your audience to divide the other suckers amongst them, they notice that all of the suckers in the bag have magically vanished. Stay tuned for the end of the video. We're going to give these magic props away to one lucky comment. Okay, check this out. I've got a cool trick to show you with this hot dog. So if we take the hot dog like this, we can actually stretch it into a long, foot long hot dog just like that. You hungry? The secret to this one is simply a long sleeve shirt or a jacket and you're simply going to hide the hot dog up your sleeve so it looks like only a normal hot dog. Make sure you don't put any condiments on it because that could get really messy and then all you have to do is simply pull and the rest of the hot dog will come out from your sleeve. It looks like it just magically grows into a super long foot long hot dog. An easy magic food trick that anyone can do. Alright guys that is it for this video. If you liked it hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it as well. If you like the show help the channel grow please share a video on your Facebook or your Twitter, your Instagram, your Snapchat. Tell a friend, tell a family member to subscribe to the channel. We are on that road to 3 million subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. Also, our online shop, evaneratv.com. We have a ton of magic merch, of really cool magic tricks, exclusive stuff that you can't get anywhere else. The link for that is in the description or at evaneratv.com. And we have international shipping available on everything in the shop. So no matter where you are in the world, you can order magic and get it shipped to your door. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. The magic light powder, the magic appearing banana, the magic cookie, the magic appearing corn, and the magic lollipop trick. All these and 10 magic bite out cookies from EvaneraTV.com are available in the giveaway. All you have to do to win is leave a comment in the comment section down below. Today's keyword is magic. Leave as many comments as you want in the comment section. In fact, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning this giveaway. And it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magic magically appearing on the screen right here. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. If you won that giveaway, be sure to send your full mailing address to this email address on the screen right here to claim your prize. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. The shop is right down there if you wanna grab some merch and support the channel. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.